guys welcome back so the palette that I'm using today is this berries and cream eyeshadow palette by Dominique cosmetics now as you can see it's in this gorgeous berry colored shiny cardboard packaging it does include a mirror there are 12 eyeshadows in here which include matte as well as shimmer shades now these colors are very very pretty and you can easily create a beautiful berry themed look using this palette now taking a closer look you can see that this palette includes names for each eyeshadow it's a very nice warm toned palette it also has some cool shades in here as well though so you can create berry looks there's a beautiful blue in here some gorgeous shimmer tones a black as well as some beautiful highlighting shades now while swatching this palette I did notice that the shimmer shadows were very nice soft they felt like satin and they were highly pigmented I really like the matte shadows they're very pigmented as well and the color scheme just really shows how beautiful it is when you swatch this palette I really like the colors that they chose for this berries and cream palette it's not boring at all it's very very beautiful I created this look today using this palette. I believe it's a very easy, simple look to do. A nice, soft berry and blue colored look. So let's go ahead and just jump into this look. I'm starting off with my eyebrows using my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil. And this is in the color Blackest Brown. And I'm just using this to fill in my eyebrows as usual. And I'm also going to clean up around my eyebrows using my Wet n Wild Concealer. Now once I have my eyebrows done, I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelids today using my MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And to start off this look, I'm going to go into this palette and the first shade I think I'm going to use is Soft and Sweet. It's just a really light tan shade. I'm using this basically to set my lids, but I'm also using it as a nice transition shade for the bold colors that I'm going to put on my lid as well. So the first shade that I want to go into to create this look is Blueberry Muffin. It's this gorgeous deep blue shade. It kind of has a blue purple feel to it, but it's a beautiful blue shade. As you can see, I'm just blending that out in the outer corner. And at first I was a little concerned that it might be a bit patchy, but as I blended it out, it started to look really, really nice. I like how it just kind of diffused using a larger brush to blend it out. Next, I'm going into the shade Cherry Juice. Beautiful, beautiful plum shade. And I'm just placing that right next to that blueberry muffin. And I just wanna make sure I get that pigment down nicely. And I really, really like how these two shades look next to each other. They're very pretty together. And I'm just making sure that I blend that purple right into that blue. Now I'm going back in with the same brush that I used for the blue and just using it to diffuse the edge of that purple. Now I'm going to start placing my shimmer on my lid and I'm using this color Cranberry. You guys, this color is so pretty, it's gorgeous. I didn't even have to wet my brush for this and it just goes on so smooth and silky and the color just pops. I love this shade. I can only imagine what it would look like if I went ahead and wet my brush or used some Fix Plush, but you really don't need to. So I'm just blending that into those first two shades. 
Now I'm going to do an inner corner highlight and I'm going to use this color Sugar Cookie and I'm just dabbing that on my inner corner. <laughs> I went a little bit ham with this shade as you can see. I used quite a bit but it's a very highly pigmented color. Now I'm going back into that blue and I'm using that to smoke out my lower lash line and I'm also connecting it to the upper lid just to kind of create a more blended look in the corners. Now I'm going into Cherry Juice and I'm using that to further smoke out my lower lash line, blending it with that blue just to kind of bring these two colors together. Now I went in with Sugar Cookie to highlight my brow bone and <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't realizing how pigmented that shade is. It is super pigmented and it really brightened up that brow bone very quickly. So I'm just using some black liquid eyeliner and placing that on right next to very very close to my lash line just to add that pop of black. And I'm using a plum colored lip liner today and I'm actually placing this lip liner all over my lips and just topping it off with my Fenty Gloss Balm for a shiny lip today. I'm going in with some of my Rimmel Mascara using that on my upper and lower lashes. And this is the final look you guys. I kept it pretty simple and easy today. A very quick berry colored look. I really love how these shadows blend together. It was very nice and seamless and I like the softness of these shades. So. That's the look for today, you guys. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.